Hey, how's it going? Before we get started, I just wanted to give a quick update on the Discord server. We now have unusual options activity and options sweeps and blocks alerts in the Discord server, all free of charge included with your membership once you join. Normally this would cost tens if not hundreds of dollars a month. So if you're looking to trade with the big money, with the institutional investors, you can get access to that data for free if you join our Discord server. And like I said, as always, the early bird gets the worm. You can lock in a low monthly rate for your lifetime of your membership. So if you're not in there already, you're certainly missing out. We have a great trading group in there. We are most active during market hours where you can bounce ideas off one another, compare trades, compare technical analyses. We also have some bots that will do technical analysis for you on the fly. So make sure you come check it out and let's get on to the video. Hey guys, how's it going? Solo back with another Sunday weekly stock watch list update video. And just as a quick reminder, let's take a look at the heat map here to see how we closed off the day on Friday. So you can see a mixture of red and green on the board, but really it was the tech sector that got hit pretty hard, right? The big tech names, Amazon, Google, Facebook, Microsoft, Apple, all took a nosedive. Semiconductor sector was all red as well. So not a good day for tech last Friday, but that could play well into our hands this week. So let's get right into it. You know, the first thing I like to do is take a look at some of the earnings that are coming up this week. So we can see not a lot of big earnings this week, right? Really the only two companies that I notice from this chart are Levi's, which honestly I'm not very interested in playing because I'm not sure how many people are actually still buying clothes right now, given that a lot of people are working from home and you know may have lost their job and not have a lot of extra money to spend and Domino's Pizza. So really the only one that I'm even a little bit interested about is Domino's Pizza, but even that I am really gonna avoid and I'll let you know why right now. So this is why I am not interested in playing Domino's Pizza. It is crazy overpriced. It is trading at 400 and basically $34, which is insane. I'm not sure why they're doing or they're not doing, I should say a stock split right about now because you know, who's paying $434 for a share of Domino's when you can get Tesla, Apple, you know, other big tech stocks like that. Let's take a look at their one year chart here has been up and to the right. So overall it does look good, but this is a little bit too rich for my blood to be able to play some cash grid puts and covered calls on it and run the wheel strategy on. But if you did want to play dominoes for earnings, you could consider looking at spreads. Um, let's just take a look at the options chain just to see how juicy these premiums are. I'm going to assume that they're not very juicy, but let's just double check. So for the weekly option expiring this October 9th, if you want to sell a cash grid put at the money, you would collect $1,400 in premium for $43,250 in collateral. Wow, that is a lot of collateral. So that is, that's not bad, right? It's 3.2% return on your risk. No, not bad, not great, right? Not the juiciest thing I could see, but honestly, I think you could get a similar return on your risk of 3% or so for a lot less capital that you would have to put up. So that's really the end of my video in terms of what options or what stocks I'm looking at this week for earnings. But stay tuned because there's some big news coming up this week and this month in the semiconductor sector. And let's get right into that right now. So this coming Thursday, October 8th, is a very big day for AMD. And I think for the semiconductor sector in general, because AMD is going to officially release their new Zen 3 CPU, as you can see here. And, you know, of course, as we're getting closer to the release date, a lot of specs are trying to are starting to leak online in YouTube videos and in articles. And, you know, yes, these are leaks, but more often than not, in my opinion, they do end up being fairly accurate. And if history is going to repeat itself, Right now, it looks like these new AMD CPUs are going to blow Intel out of the water again. I am looking very hard at AMD right now. I currently still own 500 shares of AMD that I was assigned shares at $85 a share. I, I fully believe that it is possible as long as the overall market doesn't drop as we, we don't have a big correction in the market as a whole. I fully think AMD could easily get to $90 or $100 at least by the end of the month. And one of the reasons is because of this CPU release that's coming up this week. So I am certainly gonna be looking at selling some covered calls this week, hoping that my shares don't get called away, meaning I'm gonna sell them very far out of the money so I can sell a little bit of premium and keep that hopefully risk-free. But that is a big news 
catalyst that is coming up on AMD this week. And then later in the month on October 28th, AMD is gonna release their new GPU specs. So again, there's already been leaks on the internet, on YouTube about benchmarks that have come out for these new GPUs. And of course, they're gonna compare them to their rival Nvidia. And right now, you know, it looks like Nvidia is a little bit scared because recent articles, as you can see here, Nvidia just released the date of their new graphics card, the RTX 3070, to the day after AMD's release date. So they delayed it to October 29th. And now they cited that it was because of inventory reasons. Basically, they want to make sure that the card is in stock for release day. But, you know, it's, is it a coincidence that they waited until the day after AMD's conference? Seems like they're a little scared and they're trying to take away a little bit of uh, AMD's party there. So we'll have to wait and see. But I do think that Nvidia is also poised to have a good month again because once these cards are released, you know it's going to be all the buzz in the tech world in terms of YouTube videos, tech articles, benchmark videos. So I'm sure a lot of gamers are going to be looking at picking up these Nvidia cards this month and potentially the AMD cards in the coming months. So the other thing, the other big news catalyst, or it's actually not news, it's been known for a while, but AMD is actually gonna be the one that's supplying the parts for the new Xbox and the new PS5 that are coming out later this year. So I really think that AMD is poised to have a very big fourth quarter in 2020. I am certainly gonna be looking at holding my shares of AMD, maybe even sunk some more cash sugar puts, one or two if I can afford it to get more positions at a lower cost basis, but I am very bullish right now on AMD and really Nvidia as well, just because they're also releasing their new specs. However, on the flip side, I am very bearish on Intel because I truly believe that this Thursday, once AMD releases their CPU specs, I fully expect Intel stock to drop because the market is gonna say, oh no, AMD is gonna crush Intel in their own game so there's no way that intel stock can go up with amd i feel like they're inversely related so when one goes up the other one pretty much has to go down in my opinion let's take a look at the trading view chart on amd to see what we're working with here so if i zoom in here these are daily candles as you can see we had six green days in amd in a row this past friday like i showed you at the beginning of the video was not a good day for the market in general in terms of big tech so amd did have a little bit of a sell-off but right now we are still trading above the 21 and the 50-day moving averages as well as this area of support at about $80 and some change. So I fully expect Monday morning or early next week, I fully think that AMD is gonna rise up above $83 and trade in, at the very least, the low to mid 80s. But I do think it's possible that if we get a nice boost after that conference on Thursday, we could probably hit mid to high 80s by Thursday. Now, the thing I am watching out for is a sell-off after the conference on Friday. That's the one concern I have is that if people are buying the rumor and then selling the news. So we'll have to wait for that. But I think even if that does happen, that may present itself as a buying opportunity because again, I think for the rest of October leading up to the new GPU specs at the end of the month and then also AMD has earnings as you can see the day before that conference on October 27th. So we'll have to wait and see. And you know, that could still be good news for AMD that NVIDIA waited until the following day to release their new GPU, because then once the benchmarks come out, if AMD crushes NVIDIA in the benchmarks, then you know AMD is gonna definitely go to the moon. So there's a lot of potential this month for AMD just to rocket, I think at least in the 90s, and like I said, maybe even over 100. So owning shares at 85, if I can hold them up to that run up, I would be golden and I could potentially cash out for some juicy profits. So that's really my outlook for the trading week this week. Not a lot going on in terms of earnings, but I am really looking at the semiconductor sector in terms of AMD and Nvidia as far as bullish movements and Intel as far as bearish movements. Let me know your thoughts below. Are you team red with AMD or are you team green with Nvidia? As always, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below and happy trading.